you can try to explain it with other shit. I'm gonna keep saying it's DNA, man. Yeah, you're, you're not gonna Island hear me just dis- dis- where dispute a grand woman's huh? No, I said I'm not gonna dispute that, but you know, like I said, it's it's something else, it's something else to it. It's not just DNA, it's something else. Like honestly. Well, start in Alamance County where a grand woman sits behind bars tonight with no bond. Alamance County Sheriff's deputies say the woman ran several people over while intoxicated and then she crashed her car. WFMY News 2 Giselle Thomas spoke to neighbors in the area. What'd you learn, Giselle? Now, this is 20. 20- she literally looks like this woman with yeah. like, <laughs> 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 I did, I did like a night out drinking. <laughs> Yo, they they can't do this. Like they they gotta stop the black. An- if you're a black anchor, you can't comment on like a, a black criminal getting arrested. Like they gotta they gotta cut that out. But there's so many of them. Shit, man, this is it's it's, it's it, it, like you said, man. I always say that it leaves you. There's really nothing you can say about this, man. Like shout out to Dada, not reeking, man. He says. Glider rocking a sports car, I would have made that Kia for a Hollywood tour. Mm. Yeah, man, I'm sure they I'm sure that 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 car didn't do him any favors, man. Drawing attention to the sun, man. But yeah, this this is this is this is this right here is this 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 story right here is like an unaccounted like no one accounts for this this doesn't like this isn't something that even though black crime goes underreported and we kind of like sweep it under the rug people do kind of talk about the murders and the gun violence sometimes this aspect right here 21 year old tamaya anderson she's accused of hitting four people with her car one of them lost their life, but it didn't end there. Deputies say she then crashed her car near a mobile home park. People in the area say they don't understand how something like this could happen in their neighborhood. Broken glass and bent concrete poles lay at the entrance of a mobile home off East Simpson Road. It's evidence of a tragic scene that unfolded this weekend. Friday night around 11 p.m., neighbors in the area say they heard a bang. And I just saw a car coming down. And then I looked and I saw that somebody had crashed into the, down there into the trailer park. I was like kind of falling asleep. And then like right when I was about to fall asleep, like I heard a loud crash. Neighbors say the driver was disoriented and hurt. Aliana Laura says she saw the car. What we saw, it was like the entire car, like piece, like it came off, like the entire like front piece. So when she crashed, she crashed into one of the pools, which makes it like way all the way back. The driver was 21-year-old Tamaya Anderson. She is charged with murder and assault with intent to kill. Alamance County deputies accuse her of hitting four people with her car. They say two out of the four were dragged. The impact tragically killing 22-year-old Brandy Resendez. Deputies say Anderson got into a fight with some people at a home on East Simpson Road. Deputies say she then got into a car and hit the victims. Anderson's vehicle was found crashed down the street near a mobile home park. She was um she was conscious and she was like she was like crying and stuff and then she said that her arm and her leg she was just she was just talking about like how her arm hurt like a lot like she hurt her arm really bad. She was shaking. So after she ran over all those people, she hops out the car crying about her arm. <laughs> yeah, I mean regular scheduled programming, right? Like how her arm hurt like a lot like she hurt her arm really bad she was shaking she said her head was hurting she had blood um right here and on her head i think both neighbors say they did not see the deadly events that allegedly happened up the road but they recall east simpson flooded with law enforcement that night you couldn't really see much from down here all the way up there but you could see like because it was in the night you could see like the lights from the cops we saw like that that like um all this like um like the police was here the ambulance and stuff was here already and then we just stayed there and then like they took the lady Deputies say in addition to the murder charge, Anderson is accused of being intoxicated while driving and having alcohol in her vehicle. Deputies have not told us if she knew the victims or why she was there in the first place. Anderson is currently in jail with no bond. Okay. 
Okay. Um, Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is her in court. In Alamance County, a woman is facing charges for second degree murder after the sheriff's office says she hit four people with a car killing one of them. And she had her first appearance in court today. Fox 8's Celeste Smith joins us live in Alamance County. Now, Celeste, you were there. What else did you find out about the case? Well, investigators say that 21-year-old Tamaya Anderson was friends with the person that she's accused of killing, 22-year-old Brindy Resendez. And okay, so she was friends with the person she killed. The incident happens on East Simpson Road in Green Level. When I came from work at 11, they had the roads blocked off, so I had to go around. I really didn't know what was going on. I saw the helicopter in Lamb's Chapel parking lot, so I knew it was something big. Police responded to East Simpson Road on Friday after receiving calls about a car running into a group of people. It happened along East Simpson Road in Green Level. We spoke with one person who lives nearby. I was surprised because this is usually a pretty good neighborhood, and I, um, who, who believes that? Well, it's who relative, believes? right? No, not even relative. Who believes that that's that 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 take relative out of it? Who believes that that's a good neighborhood? Okay, well then, uh, that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> this this there's no way this is a good name. If if she's there, the other girls who who kid hit the person there. There was a fight. Let's see who else is there. It's disheartening that it was such young people. The suspect, Tamaya Anderson, faced a judge for the first time in court Monday. During the proceedings, it was revealed this all stemmed from a fight that broke out at a home. The prosecutor said the fight started over issues with the victim, Brandy Resendez's child's father. Resendez and the suspect, Tamaya Anderson, told the child's grandmother they were on their way to East Simpson Drive to confront the child's father. The prosecutor said a fight broke out between Anderson and the child's grandmother, and also Resendez and another relative. Ms. Anderson um, got into her vehicle as the two other um, individuals were fighting on the ground in the roadway. Um, she got into her Honda Accord and she drove straight at all four of the parties who were in the roadway, struck all four of them. The victims were hit and then dragged by. So she, there were people rolling on the ground fighting and she got in the car and, and ran over them. Yeah, this is like this is like uh, this is just like Negroes in Negro Land, just in the American edition. Like instead of spears, we give them cars and shit and fucking rights and the courtroom and all that bullshit. But it's like functionally basically the same thing, right? Yeah, just terrible. Horrible. Yeah, all too common. It is just horrible, man. Like it is what it is, man. We're fighting on the ground in the roadway. Um, she got into her Honda Accord and she drove straight at all four of the parties who were in the roadway, struck all four of them. The victims were hit and then dragged by the car. The Alamance County Sheriff's Office said soon after, Anderson crashed her car into a concrete barrier at a nearby mobile home park down the street. Resendez and the woman she was fighting were both severely injured. Resendez died from her injuries. The other woman had to be airlifted to the hospital and is still undergoing surgery. So her friend was fighting another girl on the ground in her... In her, I guess, an attempt to like help her friend, she drove the car into both of them and dragged them down the street. Patrice in the hospital. I can tell the court that she has some pretty severe injuries, including a torn ACL, fractured left shoulder, a broken jaw, um, extremely bad road rash on her back, a swollen right eye, and a broken pelvis. It's also my understanding she had a broken bone in her back under her spine. Later say the two other people have minor injuries. And it that little thing caused all that trouble. With that in addition to a second degree murder charge, Anderson is now facing several other charges, including three counts assault with deadly weapon with intent to kill, aggravated driving, driving while impaired, and possession of open container of alcohol. She was both intoxicated and admitted to driving the vehicle. Deputies were also able to locate a bottle of tequila inside of the vehicle at that time. The prosecution asked for her bond on the second degree murder charge to be set at $250,000. But the judge set her bond for the second degree murder charge at $1 million. When two other uh, individuals began 
Um, second altercation, she went to the vehicle. Um, someone tried to stop her and was unsuccessful. And she then drove straight at four individuals, um, killing one of them, uh, seriously injuring uh, a second individual. Then why not just not give her a bond, period? One more story, man. One more, man. Let's see. <laughs> Pick from the buffet here. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Developing right now, a father and daughter are dead, and police are looking for the man who killed them over a car. 